Welcome to SolidCam Professor in a video series to help you get started with iMachining. This video is part two of session five, and we will define examples of open pocket geometries. These include an open pocket, open pocket with island, and open pocket with multiple islands. Note that this video will continue exactly where we left off in part one of session five. The SolidCam part file, Geometry Part 1.prz is open with all the closed pocket geometry examples defined and calculated. We will use the same 8mm tool, and our upcoming open pocket configurations will have the same depths. In our last operation, we simply selected Save and Copy to create a new iMachining operation with the same settings. The new operation was automatically opened and is presented here. Let's define our geometry for the next example. Click the New button. The first example is of an open pocket. Pick on the outer contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Using the Geometry Edit dialog on the left, right-click on the Geometry Chain 1 in the Chain list, and select Mark Chain as Open. The chain turns black in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, and iMachining is informed that the pocket can be approached from the outside. Click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate to add this operation to the cam tree, and calculate the iMachining toolpath. Again, I will point out some of the iMachining techniques with each of these geometry examples using our default simulation mode, HostCAD. Select Simulate to open the simulation control panel, and then press Play. In this example, the entire face is cleared with a morphing spiral. Exit the simulation, and then select Save and Copy to create a new iMachining operation with the same settings. Click the New button to define our geometry for the next example. This example is of an open pocket with island. Pick on the outer contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Next, pick on the lower contour of the island as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Using the Geometry Edit dialog, right-click on the outer chain, Chain 1, in the Chain list and select Mark Chain as Open. Again, this will enable the tool to approach from outside the pocket. Click OK to exit the Geometry Edit dialog. Select Save and Calculate, and then Simulate to view our toolpath at work using HostCAD. Press the Play button. The morphing spiral collapses in on the island. Let's exit the simulation. Now, we will save and copy the operation and define the geometry for our last open pocket configuration. Click the New button. This example is of an open pocket with multiple islands. First, we will pick on the outer contour of the pocket in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, as shown here. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Next, pick on the lower contour of one island, use Auto Constant Z on the left to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. Then, pick the geometry around the next island. Use Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to accept the selection. In the chain list, right-click on the outer chain, Chain 1, and select Mark Chain as Open. Again, this will inform iMachining to enable the tool to approach from outside the pocket. Select Save and Calculate, and then Simulate to simulate our iMachining toolpath. Set the desired simulation speed, and then press the Play button. The spiral collapses from the outside until it hits an island, then separates the island from the remaining material, and then collapses another spiral onto the last island. Let's exit the simulation. Now, we will select Save and Copy to create a new iMachining operation with the same tool and milling level settings. This is where we will begin our last and final video session. 
And this concludes part two of session five in the Solid Camp Professor video series to help you get started with iMachining. Here we have defined a few examples of open pocket geometries and simulated their iMachining toolpaths. Thanks for watching. Please join us for part three of session five, defining examples of semi open pocket geometries.